Happy New Year. Welcome to Commission Thursday. And to kick us off in this particular New Year of 2023, I want us to look at a portion of scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 11. The scripture says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's mind. Yet so that we cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Few things that God is trying to highlight in this portion of scripture. As we embark on this new year, it's a new season, and I know most of you are working on the resolution. I know you are having a lot of expectation concerning this year. And as you're planning on your financial life, your social life, your intellectual life, your family life, and all the spheres that define your life, I don't know if you've sat down and strategized on how you're going to do as matters of the kingdom assignment is concerned. Let's talk about mission. We believe that you are the light, you are the salt, and you are the carrier of the message of good news. But unfortunately, we don't spare much time internalizing and strategizing concerning this particular agenda. So in this particular year, God is reminding us, in this year 2023, God has made this time to be beautiful for us. And apart from ensuring that this year is beautiful, he has placed eternity in the heart of man. But it's so unfortunate that men cannot understand this reality. So when God has placed eternity in the heart of man, eternity is not measured with time. Eternity uh, supersedes time. But for us to grasp what God has destined for this particular season, we must come out of our comfort zone and connect with him where he is. And immediately we connect with God, we begin to see the reality of the world. The three windows that I want you to focus on as you strategize your, uh, your outreach for this year. The first window is 1040 window. This is the window that carries uh, the, the largest population in the world. Most of these people in this particular window are unreached people group. So as you strategize, I want you to understand that a bigger percentage of the world are in the window core, uh, that is unreached. And another window is 4070 window. 4070 window, this is uh, the area that covers Europe. Uh, and one thing that is happening in this particular season uh, in the, from, uh, from this country, we are doing a reverse mission. These people, they share the gospel. But right now, it's a time for Africa to arise and take over these particular places. And the final window is 414 window. 414 windows is the, uh, is the age bracket from 4 years to 14 years, whereby a lot of culture is instilled in a generation. So for us to win this battle, we must capture these particular people. The harvest does not wait. It's upon the responsibility of the harvester to design the season. And in this year, 2023, upon the harvesters, let's come out of our comfort zone and design the season and come out of our season to reach the world. And how do we do this? Be intentional. And when we talk about being intentional, we must invest in the word of God. We will never transform this world without the word of God. So number one, invest in the word of God. Have a well-scheduled time on how you're going to study the scripture and what does the scripture talk about mission. So I want you to invest time and look at the flow of the scripture as far as mission is concerned. Number two is in prayers. The place of prayer is where we can control things in the spirit. One of the things that happen is God saying, Pray for the Lord of harvest. So for us to win in this year 2023, we must be close with our secret place, the place of prayer. For us to win the battle, we must be in that place of prayer. And number three, let's come out with good strategies that will reach out where people are. Let's learn how we will enter into the culture and bring these people from their culture and to the place where God has destined for them. As the scripture has reminded you, he has placed eternity in the heart of men. Let's not take this casually and allow this to pass away. But let's maximize the season that God has placed in our hand. In this year 2023, I'm looking forward to work with you as we reach out every person from every corner until the gospel of Jesus Christ is heard everywhere. Be blessed.